Hello, everybody. First, I want to say thank you to everybody who has jumped on and started supporting me. Um, I'm going to be coming out with some more content um, and more often content. Um, thank you, everybody. I only got four videos at the moment. Thank you to everybody who has supported me up until this point. Um, today, I'm going to be doing... Um, I'll give you my opinion, but it's mainly going to be a wicking and coil placement video on this rebirth by Mike Vapes and Hell Vape. If anybody watches Truck and Vapes live stream, they know that I use this on a Mage Stacked, so it's only on this mod for the rebuild. I'm going to be reusing the same series coils I got in there, cleaning them up, showing you guys how to do that, and wick it the right way. and place your coils in the right way so without further ado let's get moving so I do want to say as of today I have a camera on the way it should be here on the 7th of January so starting then I should have some good quality on my videos not not a movie star quality but a hell of a lot better than where I'm at right now so uh that's something that you guys can look forward to, or at least that I can look forward to because I know this is shit. So I'll have a proper up close um, and everything once that gets here. So right now I have the cotton out that I had in there. I'm going to clean up these coils and I'll be right back. So as you can sort of see with this camera, cleaned up, firing even. These aren't the the best coils. Um, right now, I got some Watofo coils in there um, for series. Um, I'm waiting for some good Alien series to come in. But as of right now, I got these Watofo series Claptons in there. Now, what you're going to want to do is in the package, you're going to get your, um, like, similar to the coily thing, but it's only going to be one size to cut your legs at um you're gonna want to cut it at exactly that height now for me when i first got this rda i thought that that was kind of short so what i did at first was with my jig in there i pulled them out because i thought they needed to be farther up but uh i was wrong i vaped it like that and it was uh not um, it, it made it a little turbulent so the height that they have is perfect to cut it push them all the way down in there tighten it up and then just grab it with your um, jig and just slap them right down over that airflow um, obviously it's up to you how close you want to go I think I pretty much I, I guess I could get it a little closer without touching but I got it pretty tight in there and as you can see it's um, directly in the center of that airflow shooting right there. And then if you look up through that airport port, airport port, <laughs> you can see the coil is sitting right on it. Um, if you are not getting good flavor off this RDA, um, it's time to, to move your coils and reposition them because this thing is a flavor banger um in the airflow the way that this airflow is and i saw a thing where and uh, mike when the profile came out mike had seen it and obviously this was already in the stages of being produced uh not produced but um like um what's the word for it uh testing it out so they had trials of it um, if you look at the airflow on this barrel, it is very similar, if not exactly the same as the style of the airflow on the profile. Um, very nice top cap, one piece top cap. Um, I never pull it and paint my coils. What I do is I have it, I'll just put it straight on there and I'll drip you got to be careful 
<clears throat> if you're going to drip without pulling the top cap, you need to make sure that your juice is going to just go right down the center. I noticed that if I accidentally get juice, like, and it runs down the drip tip, <clears throat> there's a chance that it's going to run down the barrel and then come down one of those airflow ports. Um, this is not a leaky RDA once you learn how to use it correctly. Um, the first day or two that I had it, I got frustrated with it because I didn't realize that I was just very sloppily dripping it and um, it was running down like the drip tip and then down the barrel and then getting into the airflow. So if you pay attention and just drip it steady stream right smack dead center, it's gonna come right there, drop right down, and you got about five millimeters um, of juice um, to pull up down there. <clears throat> if you can dump tons of juice in there and vape the shit out of it without having to uh, to redrip or I guess squonk again. I did put the squonk pin in it and I squonked it for about a day. Um, but for me, <clears throat> I think this thing thrives on a mech, but that's just my personal choice. You may think it thrives on a squonk mod. Um, I love something else as far as squonking goes, but this, I will say, is my number one dripping RDA of 2018. And it has a protruding 510 pin um, with an insulator. So it is very safe to run on hybrid mechs and my personal opinion is that this thing thrives on top of mechs. It's such a great vape and that airflow. The airflow on the profile before this was the smoothest airflow I had ever experienced in an RDA until I got this. When you have your R when you have your coils positioned in the right spot, the airflow on this is like cutting butter. It's just that one step higher than the profiles airflow um and i know you some people say you're not really supposed to compare a mesh rda and a round coil but there's nothing really else to compare the profile rda to because there's no other mesh rdas that are even worth comparing it to at this point all right so i'm gonna do my best without having my new camera yet to to show you how to wick this and uh coil where the coils are sitting i just got my scissors my tweezers Cotton Bacon Prime, and obviously the RDA. So let's do this.
All right, so this isn't gonna be a juice review, but I do have this new juice right here that I've never tried before, and I'll be letting you guys know how it is. Keep it 100, Mellow Man. It's supposed to be a, a marshmallow sugar cookie, and I got it in a three milligram. It's a fresh crack. It smells very marshmallowy. Tastes very marshmallowy as well. All right, I <clears throat> got it sitting on the mage stacked, 0.35 build. Just put this Mallow Man in there. Fire and nice and hot. Airflow is wide open. I prefer it like wide open. Um, sometimes I close down the first row, but that's about it. Um, let's have a vape. First thing I noticed with this RDA is how smooth the airflow was. I got, there's the profile right there. And there's the airflow on the rebirth. As you can see, pretty similar, just a little smaller on the rebirth. Um, but like I said, Mike Vapes had already proved that he did not copy the profile design, so nobody can claim that um i guess great minds just think alike as far as the flavor on this rda it's probably the best round wire rda i've vaped um smoothest airflow and a round wire rda that i've personally had um and if you position your coils right best flavor for a round wire um it's my opinion it's good on a mech and that's all i use it with um and the Mallow Man, it's um, better when it's in a hot vape. Uh, on the intake, I'm getting like a um, kind of like sugar cookie marshmallow mix. And then when I exhale, I'm getting about a 50% hint of, not hint, but a 50% ratio of vanilla mixed with like a marshmallow. So the intake, I'm getting like a sugar, melty marshmallow sugar cookie. The exhale, I'm getting like a, a vanilla marshmallow. Um, <clears throat> if you like a marshmallow vanilla -y, uh taste, then I would definitely recommend it. It does have a lot of vanilla in it, in my opinion. So if you don't like vanilla, I would stay away from it. So as far as this RDA goes, I would 100% recommend it. Like so something just happened to my computer. Another reason why I um, will be getting a good camera. I'm not sure where I left off, but um, yes, I recommend this RDA. <clears throat> it's a stellar RDA. Um, it, I use it every day alongside with my profile. Um, for me, it's a great mech RDA and dripping atomizer. I have squonked it. It works fine in squonk mode. For me, I just like it better on a mech i think it thrives in on a mech in dripping mode um it comes with two drip tips i got the frosted one on there the one that came with this one is like a cobra style red and black mix um it looks good my opinion i just like more subtle so that's why i use the frosted version very wide bore drip tip it's got an o-ring on the inside so it grabs it very well um if anybody has any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video here and make it short because uh, I'm going to be going live with trucking in a little bit. So I need to try and get this up and post it for you guys. Like I said, I got a camera coming for better content. Um, <clears throat> going to start doing a live show on my channel sometime soon when I get a little more followers. Keep supporting me. This will keep growing and we'll keep getting bigger. And I'll keep doing whatever you guys needed me to do. Have a great day.
and uh, head over to Trucking Vapes, watch Cussing and Discussing to see me on there. Have a good Christmas, y'all. Thank you. Bye.